for Fresno State. Johnson on the quick throw completes the pass to Tracy Jenkins and he's knocked down short of the first down by a good two yards. Well, if you're Tracy Jenkins, you got to run a pattern that's going to get you 10 yards. Quarterback's going to deliver that time right on the button, but he's got to be downfield. You don't want to run an eight yard pattern when you need 10. Would-be tacklers all the way up to the 24-yard line. So gets about nine yards back. Snyder, who is the draft choice of the Chicago Bears. And that 51-10 defeat. Payne is going to go down and go down for a loss. And who was there? Is that Ron Cox again? Certainly did. He turned him to the outside. Brett Payne, the transfer from Air Force, was a dead duck after that. He had to give up too much ground in that backfield. As you look at Jim Sweeney, He's been very inspirational this week. He, he said, you got to be good. Carlson. To Dwight Pickens, there will be a return. They set the wall. Pickens goes to the sideline. Nice move there to the 45-50, and out of bounds he goes. Fresno State has had some great return artists in the time. Andre Alexander, Stephen Baker, Dwight Pickens is just another in that line. Very late flag. This one appears to be against Fresno State. Number 44, Devon Edwards. Good block here as he turns the corner. I don't know where the penalty is, but this is uh, some pretty good moves from Dwight Pickens, and now they're going to pick the flag up and say no flag. So. Kelvin Means to the left. Up to Craver, first down, 35-yard line to the 32. They were down by just seven, most of the first half to Brigham Young. Here's Demetrius Brown, and he's cut down by a moment. The pair had their best game last week against Cal State Fullerton that they've had in their career. Payne, magnificent game as a blocker, and Brown running the football. Fumble on the play, and a loose ball, and it looks like it's a Bulldogs. Yes, it is. Again, Coming away from the center, Kirk Johnson lost the football, laying it on the ground at the 40-yard line, and the Bulldogs with their second big turnover recovery of the day. Zach Ricks made the recovery. This is 11. Barsotti will go to Lewis again. Finds the big hole, 35-yard line, 33, and he's pushed back there. Utah State wanted to deny Fresno State the running game and say, hey, Bulldogs beat us in the air. Jim Sweeney says, okay, if you stop us once, I have so much confidence in the running game, I don't think you're going to stop us. I'll put it back on the ground. And Tim Lewis hits the hole so quickly. You know, he may not be the fastest of the Bulldogs, but I don't know that anyone gets to the hole any quicker. Eric Martin in the game is the win, is the slot back to that left side. And this is Barsotti, long drop. Passes the football for the first down to the 25-yard line. Stephen Shelley at the 25. Oh, this one's much shorter. From 21 yards out. Steve Luke pushes it through and gives Fresno State a 13-7 lead with five minutes and 36 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Brown will be in the eye formation with Payne the fullback. Brown gets the call. Forget it. No gain, maybe a loss. Zach Ricks again. Boy, he has played a strong game. Well, you're only as good as a, your front wall blocking, and right now the offensive thrust in that front wall not holding off that Fresno State defensive front wall. This time he was in the right defensive end spot, and here he comes again, but he'll pick up the offensive back, and Johnson scrambling. He's going to go deep. He really lays it out there. Tipped off his fingertips and right into the hands of Rod Moore. Better to be lucky than good. Marquez Pope playing center field right there for the apparent interception. Misjudged it and sailed over his outstretched hands right into this guy. Rod Moore said, hey, I'll take it. And I'll Second and goal. He fumbles it. And Fresno State gets it. And it's Zach Ricks with his second fumble recovery of the game. 
I don't know why they're not throwing the football. That's beyond me. Zach Ricks, you got to be loving it. The freshman having a Hall of Fame game, but I don't understand that. They're and Craver now goes out wide right. So one lone setback is Myron Jones. And they throw to Shelley. He has the first down. Gets a good block from Hughes, and Shelley's still on his feet. He has an angle off the left side, and Stephen Shelley is to the 10-yard line. What a block by Aaron Craver. I mean to tell you, I haven't seen every down and every play of this year by the Bulldogs. And credit Stephen Shelley with a very fine run after the catch. But number five, Aaron Craver, downfield applies the block of the year. There'll be a face mask penalty tacked on. And was he out of bounds? Ooh, no. Pretty close. Just barely. Watch five. Can we see it? Let's see if we're going to be able to see it in our screen, in our picture. Here no. he comes. There it is. <laughs> oh. yeah, body went. That's the block of the decade. That's the one that shakes all the bones in your body. Well, maybe not the decade. I, I got carried away. Probably the year. Well, after a slow start, Mark Barsotti has really heated up. Barsotti will call him out, and he will give the football to Myron Jones, and Myron will go in untouched for his second touchdown of the afternoon. Out of that power set, Myron Jones able to turn the corner with ease. Did the offensive line wipe him out here? Everybody's going to tumble on the blue side. Everybody gets blocked, and Myron able to stretch it out and turn the corner and walk in easily. Now, but it is gorgeous here in the Wasatch Mountains. Johnson in trouble for Ron Cox, <laughs> and down he goes, and a flag goes down as well. So that will be second sack of the Ron Cox hour. 